بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay, now in this video we'll try to understand the asset and the classifications now asset already we discussed in the previous videos like it is something anything uh, it is like anything valuable to the organization and that needs to be protected if you are implementing some network security like it can be a property or the people or the database or information which is stored inside the company so typically it includes like company records or maybe the client information or maybe some kind of proprietary softwares and so on now in order to provide some network security it's important to classify the assets like uh, there are some of the basic uh, steps required for you to classify the assets like you need to identify the assets now identifying the assets totally depends upon like what kind of asset it is whether it is an information based now again information it includes like maybe the database or the database files or maybe some kind of documentations which defines the operation and the procedure of the company or it can be some kind of softwares like uh, maybe some kind of application softwares you are using in your company or maybe other other kind of softwares like uh, maybe a system related softwares like operating system or maybe some uh, ms office applications or it can be any other uh, system related uh, softwares or even it can be something like physical now physical deals with all the physical components includes like computers modems routers switches maybe air conditioners or the power supplies they all come under a physical uh, kind of asset so next thing is you need to identify the accountability of the asset accountability is nothing but what is the value of that particular asset and the actual value of the asset will uh, is something we need to figure out because you need to if you are implementing some kind of security depending upon the value of the asset you need to take some measures to protect that particular asset whether it is uh, if it is a more valuable asset then probably you prefer to apply some more security in the network now classification of the assets classification is totally depends upon the confidentiality of that particular asset the value of that particular asset the true value true value uh, majorly the true value is considered as uh, it depends upon the type of the asset so depends upon the value of the asset you really want to provide some more security if the if it if it values more and also the age of that particular asset like how long this asset is uh, useful for the company because after certain period of time a specific asset will not be useful like maybe you have some old records which might not which might not be useful in the next five years and of course the replacement cost because if any failure in the asset like uh, maybe there is a database files uh, which has been deleted by the user uh, by accidentally or some kind of attack then how valuable it is and what what is the actual cost for the replacement like maybe a router fails what is the replacement cost and how long that particular asset is useful useful lifetime so these are the specific conditions we generally see while classifying the assets and the next thing is like roles uh, roles represents like in order to manage these assets uh, generally there are three different types of roles like owner owners are like the administrative control for the asset means they have something like full permissions for uh, complete control over the particular asset and they are like senior most officers in the company senior management of the company who is responsible for uh, main, managing that particular assets or keeping a track of that particular assets like maybe a ceo of the company or or maybe uh, md of the company something like that and the custodian or the people who are like who who do have some technical control of the asset uh, and these people are responsible for implementing and executing those particular assets like like you have some kind of policy uh, policies which are dictated by the owners like how the how the things should work how the things should be set up and the custodians are the people who are responsible for executing those instructions given by the owner and finally the end users uh, typically the, these users are responsible for protecting and maintaining those assets like uh, like we can say the employees or maybe some kind of contractors 
or it, it also includes something like third party providers if you are outsourcing something to any third parties so they do have access to data and they do have authorized access and they are responsible for maintaining that particular assets now the classification of the assets depends upon different organizations like most of the private organizations generally divide the assets into four categories like confidential means highly confidential maybe your uh, company details or maybe some kind of client information which you which you don't want to share with anyone uh, some private uh, which is shared only within the company kind of database uh, sensitive information and public information public is like access to everyone like maybe your web server on the internet which which needs to be accessed by everyone now similar in the government organizations typically you have the naming likes top secret secret confidential and sensitive information so depending upon the organizations they use some different naming conventions to classify the assets now based on that particular classification the the true value of that particular asset will be uh, will be calculated and also uh, more security will be applied for some kind of top secret assets or the confidential assets